burnt out guy here and welcome to the end so I'm here gonna show you an enderman farm it's uh, very cheap on resources and it's easy to make and as you can see it's uh, gonna be very efficient I only built two cells on this and uh, you're gonna see that uh, you got enderman for a while I kind of have a hard time keeping up with the demand. Anyways, that's that. I'll go show you how to... how it's... how it's done. <laughs> Alright, so it's pretty simple. It's all done with tripwire. So when the Enderman spawns here, it pushes a series of pistons and they all go down like so I don't know if I could maybe just get up here a little bit there you go so if you have more than one enderman there you go see you got three at a time that time so works very good and I'll show you how cheap on redstone this is every cell uses four repeaters and I think that's 28 and 28 is 56, 60, 64 pieces of redstone and uh, 28 pistons on each side. So that's 56 pistons. So you're using, that's probably about the most expensive thing on here is your pistons and depending on how many layers you're going to do because, um, let's get to my map for a second. Very important to use your map with this build too, because um, that's how I'm going to be doing the tutorial. So, um, as you can see right now, let's get here. Your left first, well, your last cell that I have right now is at Y55, and you can go all the way up to 128. And that's because uh, you got to stop at 128 because there's no mobs that spawn over 128. Uh, that's been tested uh, with me and Ivy Eichel. Uh, we did this uh, mob well, test together there. It was really awesome. I uh, had a great uh, great time. And uh, by the way, thank you very much, Ivy. Uh, it was uh, great. Uh, it turned out awesome. Okay, so. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, we go all the way down to the bottom here. Now you have options to. I left you room at the bottom here. So that way, if you wanted to put in a piston pushing a piston system at the bottom to just have it like on kill mode or whatever or you could just leave it like this and have it on XP mode um, and that's how I did that section over there too so I saved myself a little bit of time and I went ahead and slowly built a, a wire frame a little bit so we can uh, start off this project now uh, at the bottom uh, this block here would be Y1 so this would be your floor to come in or whatever you wanted to do and then I just labeled it all the way up to here. So this is Y5. So this is your killing level. Uh, the level that uh, they're all going to be falling on to get XP. If you brought it to Y4, uh, they would just die. And you would get um, just the pearls. So we go on all the way up here. And you start your... Um, <clears throat> well, actually buttons I took that off and it's supposed to be buttons here and finds there but anyways uh, so on Y48 is pretty much well where you're gonna start building your cells uh, Y50 is the actual beginning of your cells which is uh, this layer right here where your tripwire is so we shall go over here and for the sides it's really important that you cover them up uh, you can do anything you want you can do this it would be cheaper on resources and if you really wanted to make it actually don't even bother doing that just leave it like that <laughs> looks good just perfect 
So you need these just in case they decide to stray out and it happens. Um, and the vines are just to slow all the previous ones that are higher up to slow them down at that point that way they don't take extra more damage than everybody else. Alrighty. So like I said, when you get to Y48, which is this block right here, you're going to start doing uh, a three high wall. And I'll just get rid of all the glowstone. This was just to help keep the mobs from spawning up here. And uh, the one thing I find really cool is uh, when you're done this build, uh, like the, the one that I'm doing now, you're going to see that even side by side they're very efficient. Alright, so on the layer that's right above your vines, you're going to place a block. And this would be, so remember, Y48, Y49, Y50, and this would be Y51, this block here. Uh, you're going to want to put a hook, and then we're going to lay down all of our line. I'm going to build like two cells with you like I did over there, and... I'm pretty much well going to get the drift of how to build this puppy, so, so you're going to want to come right to the end, you're going to want to put another hook, and then you can do the same thing on the other side too, and then that way you don't have to do much back and forth, you can just kind of like run around like this, uh, that one's gone, yeah, oops, block here, and then you have to put another hook there. So now you got both your trip wires set. And now they're going to set off. So you're going to bring up two blocks like this. One block up. You can delete that block if you want or not. It's up to you. I'm um, going to leave it there just for tutorial purposes. And then we just come all the way over here. So this is 28 blocks in length from here to over there. So, uh, just to pound it out with you, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Sorry, I lied, it's 30. And, uh, that's why I said you need 28 pistons, huh? So it's 30 wide, so sorry about that. Or 30 long, whatever. Alright, so now that you got that side done, you can do the same thing on this side. Come out two, and go up one. And then bring this all the way over. And it's okay if you got those guys there spawning with you, just, you know, leave them alone for now. And They're like bees. They don't bother you unless you bother them, right? Alright, so now it's time for the redstone. So you're going to put two pieces of redstone, and you're going to put that there. And then, uh, actually, before you do the redstone, it'd probably be best if you put in all your pistons and your blocks. I think that would be the best thing to do. And then this way, you're not getting uh, knocked off when you're doing this. And then you can put in all your blocks. You can use any kind of material you want. I suggest you use snow. Uh, you can do snow golems and uh, all that good stuff. Alright, so now we can just lay this whole part right here full of uh, dust. So now this would be a good idea for uh, for us to do this because then they're going to kind of fall off and get pushed off. And then put a repeater here. That's all there is to it. So I can give that guy a little tap. Oh, I guess he didn't like that too much. And then that's pretty much what all there is to it, you know. And then we just rinse and repeat. So get off of there. Alright, come on. Come on. And I put a repeater. And then we'll do our pistons like we did on the other side. And then we'll just add our redstone here while we're here. And then we'll add our blocks. Yeah, and then we'll go up here and we'll put our dust. Ah, that's perfect. Just bump into them all the time. There. Uh, excuse me, sir. And you. Goodbye. Alright, so now if they spawn here, that they will get pushed off. And they'll go in between your vines and your buttons. So, um, 
depending on where you put your vines, um, is going to determine the fall and their death. So say if you were to put your vines here, uh, then you would have to drop your floor by one there, so your floor would be on Y4 instead of Y5. But that's why I put them up here, is, is to give you that extra room down there if you wanted to put in a, uh, a piston system there to, for the floor. Alright, so now we're going to do the next level. And this is something that's really important to know. Uh, when you're doing this, you have to give the Enderman three blocks of space. So the tripwire actually counts as a whole block. So when you put something on top of it, well, it you know counts as a block. So you got to go one, two, three, and then one more. And then this is where your next cell would begin, like this. So. Um, yeah, that's it. And then we would build the next cell. And then you would come across. Do, 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 do. And then you just go up here. Delete those two. And boom. And that would be where you would put your next hook. And then this is where your string would go. And like I said, if you don't leave them uh, a gap of... Uh, three in here like so it's three above the string they will not spawn because they don't spawn on the string well, under the string they spawn on top of the string yeah see um, so kind of proves it right there I kind of just dropped down on it unless he fell from the top level but <laughs> and then we go like this and then I'll show you what to do in order to get rid of these guys um, because you're gonna have a three gap in here so what you can do is you can just do this and then they won't spawn in there because you're cutting it in half oops I love when I do that Yeah, very very cheap build man when it comes to like redstone anyways there ha ah. You teleported right out of that block. Um, yeah, very cheap on redstone. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, like considering you got 64 and 64 pieces of redstone and four repeaters, like that's pretty wicked. Goodbye, sirs. Oh, come on, seriously. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Excellent. Thank you very much. And then you just continue. Like I said, it's a pretty easy pattern to remember. There's really not much to it. And you just got to make sure you come over the two up and have your two pieces of redstone here with your repeater. And then do the same on the other side. Two pieces of stone with a repeater. And then we'll go and put all those pistons in now. Excuse me. You're in my way. And then come over here. We'll do this again. Ah. You new sims. And then we'll do our pistons. Do 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 do. Did I not put my blocks? No, I didn't. Not yet. All right. Go here. Come on. Come on. Oh, seriously. There. Thank you. And we'll just put our blocks. <laughs> there. And then this would be your top cell. So if that's your top cell, we'll go here like this. Uh, what did I just get rid of? Oh, uh, well, doesn't matter. Oh, my pistons. Lovely. I'm gonna need those still. Got one more side to do. There we go, I don't need that. And then, for your last row here on the top, just put um, half slabs. And it's important that you put it over the redstone too, because they will spawn on the redstone. That uh, we discovered. Alright, and then you can half slab these right here. So otherwise they'll spawn on them too. And then we'll do the other side. 
come over here like this. And we'll finish this up right quick. Like I said, the redstone, there's like nothing to it, man. Like, really? Oops. Uh, over, over, and over. There we go. And then that would complete that section. So we'll go here and we'll go. Remember, it's up one, two, three, four, like this. So you got the three gaps of air. Right? One, two, three. Oh, sorry. Four. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> and then it can be like this. And then we'll go over 30 blocks. And then we'll go up one. Like so. Come over here up two. And like that. And then uh, we can do that uh, half block thing again. That way they're not spawned back here. Uh, come on, guys. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to build this thing eh, when you're uh, constantly pushing them off the sides. And it's pretty important, too, that you uh, you water your nether or you... Well, I, I suggest watering it, even if it's like going to take you for ages to do it. Um, I really suggest you do do it. Uh, because you really, really, really do limit how much uh, they actually spawn and stay in your uh, your little world there, in your <laughs> um, contraption here, your spawner. Um, otherwise, they just don't. Uh, they can still spawn over there uh, if you don't even in, well even if you half slab it they're still going to find a place to spawn over there. I'm pretty damn sure. Um, I've seen it in my old LP, so like, I kind of... Oh, come on. Get off. Get off. There we go. Because uh, I half-slabbed uh, the whole thing on one LP, and then the other LP, I had, uh, I had watered it, and I seen a huge difference while watering it compared to... Uh, compared to just like, you know, uh, half slabbing it. And then you got the option of destroying the whole thing, which would take probably even longer to destroy it, uh, unless you use like tons of TNT. But, um, put my blocks first. Come on, there, perfect. Well, I guess I shouldn't even have touched him. He was walking away. Yeah, what was I saying? Well, I don't remember. And we'll put our blocks in our redstone. <laughs> uh, yeah, about the nether. Uh, the end here. Um, yeah, much better to water it. Uh, maybe you can get some friends to help you out or whatever. And maybe go a little bit faster. Make a, an infinite water source nearby. And uh, everybody just have a heyday putting water all over the place. And... What's kind of a pain in the butt too is there's a lot of crevices on the side um, of the of the end. Uh, I guess I didn't have to go up that high. Yeah, of the end. Uh, if you look on the sides of the mountains, like tons of crevices and stuff like that there. And uh, I know the half slabbing is so boring to do. You know, like considering all the redstone and everything like that was so easy to do, and it's just the main build that takes like a lot longer, really. Okay, get off. Thank you. And then you'll see that uh, the higher you build this thing, the kind of the better it goes. Come on, thank you. There we go, and uh, that's done. I just gotta put in the tripwire on this side, and we're good to go. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. And then, yeah, I can't believe I forgot that. That's hilarious. I was wondering why he was just able to stand there. And there's your other tripwire. So there, I'm gonna make sure that works. Uh, that's perfect. Um, then we're gonna come in and fill this up here. Do, 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 do. And I forgot the half slabs on this side too. Uh, 
half slab that there like this. We'll finish that off. And we'll go do the other side like this too. And that way the only place they can spawn whoop, is in here. There we go. So now the only place that they're going to be able to spawn is in here. You've eliminated your spawning between here and here. And underneath, well, if you feel like, you know, making it look nicer or whatever, uh, by all means. And then if you come down here, I'll just go grab some glowstone again. Uh, so my Y5 is here. And if you put some... I like to use glowstone as a, as their falling aid just because they can't spawn on it. And I know some people will say, well, you know, maybe the items will glitch through. Maybe. But for the amount of stuff that you're getting here, I don't think one or two glitching through is going to bother me very many. And considering just with only two cells how efficient this is, is pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, because you, you have, like, what, double the length compared to what it was in... On the other ones, they're usually 16 because there's so much redstone and pistons, and then you got 16 by get up. So like this is double, almost double the length, and you can have a whole bunch of cells. And like as you see, like you got this side that's spawning very well, and then you also have this side over here that's also doing very well. So as you see, you know, side by side, they're still pretty efficient. So imagine having just one of these all the way up like that. I think it would be pretty awesome. Um, like I mentioned before, like it's pretty important they have like these here. And then that way they can't uh, fall like outside of the range. Sometimes they do, but it's up to you. But that's pretty much what the build. Um, if there's any questions, please do leave a comment below. Uh, it's all pretty straightforward. Um, and if you need like to see the heights and all that stuff, well, just pause the video and everything's all good. And um, That's it. So, once again, thanks Ivy for the help on the testing of this thing. And that's it. So, peace everybody. Take care.